All right, so today what we're doing is we're trying to determine if there, if I give you a number, is that number a possible solution for the inequality? So what I want you to do is we're going to start with number 11. We're going to start with number 11. Okay, now we talked about this one yesterday. I'm sorry, we're going to start with 13. My apologies, 13 from the back side now. How do I get rid of this fraction over here? Does anybody know what I have to do to get rid of this fraction? Zana, what do I have to do? Um, multiply, um, yeah, multiply both sides by the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this side by 21 and this side by 21. Are we all okay with that? So here's what I'm going to end up with. Negative 21 is less than or equal to v minus 2 because these 21s cancel each other out. Everybody cool with that first step? Mm -hmm. um, now we're just back to a one-step one step problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add 2 to both sides. <laughs> I'm going to get negative 19 is less than or equal to v. Negative 19 is less than or equal to v. We're good there? So, uh, Samuel, let me ask you this. If I go to my negative 19, is it an open or a closed circle? Closed because I'm also including the number 19. Uh, Josh, am I going to shade to the left or to the right? To the right. To the right because V is bigger than 19. Are we good there? Okay, so that's step one. Step two, what I'm about to show you on this next problem is the new piece. Okay? We're going to solve this one out. So I'm going to distribute my 12. So I'm going to have negative 132 is greater than 12n plus, what's 12 times 9? 108. 108. Good job. Thank you for that. All right. What's my next step, Rosie? Good job. We're going to subtract 108. And when I do that, I'm going to end up with a negative 140, which is greater than a positive 12n. Can I think I think you're right. Negative 240. My apologies. 8 and 2 is 0. Carry my 1, 3. And, yep, negative 240. Okay, Mariah, what's next? Divide by 12. Divide by 12. So if we divide negative 240 by 12, 20. I believe it's going to be 20? negative 20. Yeah. So n, or we're going to say negative 20, is greater than n. Are we good there? Open or closed circle, Isaac? Uh, clo open. Open. And Emily, am I going to shade to the left this way or the right that way? To the left. To the left. Are we good there? All right, so we all understand how to solve these problems now. What's wrong, Ms. Shannon? Oh, I'm still, uh, I'm still catching up on the last problem, and I'm just now getting to a second problem. Okay, all I've done so far is just solve them. I haven't done anything new yet. So are you comfortable with solving these problems? Okay. Bree, what's up? The number supposed to be to the right? N is less than negative, two, negative 20 or negative 20 is greater than n. So n are all of my shaded stuff. So don't we agree that negative 22 is less than negative 20? Mm -hmm. What's up, Josh? Um, didn't you say for like every two on the back would be like one extra for the front? Yeah. Oh. That's an extra. Did you do the back? No. Well, it doesn't matter then. Okay. Okay. I'm going to erase these so we can drop down, and then we're going to focus on what I want you to do next. So for 15 and 16, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you two numbers. And I want you to tell me, would these numbers be possible solutions to that? So for instance, I'm going to give you the number 41 and the number 77. Okay, 
What I want to do now is we're going to solve these two problems, and we're going to see would 41 make them true, and would 77 make them true. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so over here, first thing I need to do is what, Isaac? What do I have to do on this problem? Uh, flip it. I'll flip it yet. We'll get there. Jackson? Multiply both sides by 15. Multiply both sides by 15. These cancel out, leaving me with negative 11 plus n is less than a negative 15. So we're good with that step. Addison, what's next? Gonna subtract 11 from both sides. We're not going to subtract 11 because it's already a negative, so we're going to add it. I'm going to find that n is less than a negative 4. Are we okay there? Kendall, open or close circle? Mm -hmm. oh, open. Open circle. And, okay, in what direction am I going to go, left or right? Go to the right. If I go to the right, is that just telling me that negative 3 is less than negative 4? Mm -hmm. so we got to go to the left, this way. All right, so let me ask you this question. In all of these shaded numbers, if I keep shading and it keeps going this way forever and ever and ever, is 41 going to be in that solution? No. no. Is 77 going to be in that solution? No. So neither one of them work for this problem right here. We okay with that idea? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one now. First thing I'm going to do is distribute here. So now I'm going to have negative 90 greater than or equal to a negative 5k plus 15. Ruger, what's my next step in that problem? So, subtract 15. Good, we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. So I have negative 105 is greater than or equal to a negative 5k. Now we're going to divide both sides by negative 5. And the answer is going to become 21 is less than or equal to k. Do you understand why I flipped it? Mm -hmm. Are we sure? Yo, what's up, Mr. Anderson? Uh, how did you get the 15? Because up here, I did negative 5 times k, which gave me negative 5k. And I did negative 5 times a negative 3, which gave me a positive 15. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah. You sure? Okay. So then I'm going to find my 21. Is it open or closed circle? Closed. Closed circle. Am I going to go to the left or the right? The right. Let me ask you this. Does 41 fall into that category? Mm -hmm. Does 77 fall into that category? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what we're trying to accomplish today. Now, I want to show you another way that we can solve these problems even easier. If I take a look at 17... Now we're going to stick with my 41 and 77 here. I can take that number and I can substitute it or input it in for my value of n here. Let me show you what I mean by that. 4 is less than 1 plus 41 divided by 7. So I took my value of 41 and I substituted it in for the value of n. And then I rewrote the problem. Is everybody following me on that so far? Well, if I do 41 divided by 7, and I'm going to cheat just for simplicity purposes. I'm going to show you this so we can get through some more. 41 divided by 7 gives me 5.85. Well, if I add 5.85 to 1, I get 6.85. Is 4 less than 6.85? Yes. So is this a true statement? Would 41 be a solution? Yes. yes. Okay. Let's go to this one over here, number 18. 12 plus, let's do 77 for this one. How's that? 12 plus 77 divided by 4 has to be less than a negative 1. Okay, let's find out. 12 plus 77 is what? 89? 
now I've got 89 divided by 4 is less than negative 1. Well, 89 divided by 4 is 22.25. Is 22.25 less than negative 1? So does 77 work for that solution? Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, any specific questions on this? Can you still solve it the other way? Yeah, absolutely. I was just trying to give you a second method to see it or kind of how to check it, if you would.